Number 9. Anunnaki Aliens Most conspiracy theorists believe that shape-shifting alien reptiles have infiltrated the human population with sinister plans to enslave us. These ill-intending individuals, known as Anunnaki, hide in plain sight, mingling with powerful politicians and other elite members of society. Some people even think that the Anunnaki arrived on Earth around 200,000 years ago and created humans as a slave race to mine gold. They engineered our existence using their own DNA, which they have the ability to inactivate bits and pieces of in order to stop us from becoming as smart as them. The Anunnaki supposedly brought sophisticated technology with them and passed it on to the people they created, making ancient societies more advanced than we are today. But this technology was allegedly lost at some point in time, and modern experts have only been able to find scant remains of it at best. In recent years, rumors have circulated online about the discovery of a body belonging to an Anunnaki king. The unusually well-preserved remains were reportedly found in Iran. A Most Interesting Things article from late last year claims to have connected news of the discovery to the Russian media. The Anunnaki king's body was supposedly discovered by a team of workers who were digging a foundation for a home when they came across a mausoleum containing three coffins. Archaeologists allegedly determined that the site was part of a city, dating back to some time between 12,000 and 10,000 years ago. Iranian authorities disputed these claims according to the article and announced that the remains were 850 years old. There hasn't been any credible evidence that the discovery was actually real. It doesn't appear in any mainstream news sources, and the websites that do discuss it are very noticeably dedicated to conspiracy theories, which means they are most likely not based on proven facts. The details are vague and don't add up, and there are no signs of respected scholars getting behind the story. Number 8. Disney Created Frozen as a Distraction For over 50 years now, people have been captivated by rumors that Walt Disney was cryogenically frozen after his death in 1966, with possible plans to be brought back to life once the technology to do so was created. There are different variations of the myth, with some claiming that only Disney's head was frozen, while others say that his whole body was preserved. These stories got even wilder after the movie Frozen came out in 2013, when people who were trying to Google the conspiracy theories kept encountering links related to the movie. Their frustrations led them to believe that Disney created Frozen to complicate Google searches and to distract people from finding out about Walt Disney's cryogenically frozen body. In reality, Walt Disney was cremated two days after he died from lung cancer. But that's not as fun or interesting to believe as the idea of his body being suspended in a frozen state. And so the rumors continue to this day with many claiming that Disney's remains are being stored beneath the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland in Anaheim, California until the time comes for him to be resurrected. Number 7. Prince Charles is a Vampire The British royal family has connections to many different countries. In 2011, Prince Charles revealed that he's related to Vlad the Impaler, a 15th century Romanian prince who inspired Bram Stoker's Dracula. He discovered this genetic link back in 1998 when he learned that he's Vlad's great-grandson 16 times removed. Prince Charles has always been fond of Romania. He owns several properties there and was promoting his interest in the country when he announced the familial connection between himself and the so-called real-life Dracula. Naturally, some people were quick to conclude that Prince Charles must be a vampire. Most people realize that vampires aren't real, but to those who believe in them, the links between Prince Charles and Vlad the Impaler were enough to prove that the heir to the British throne secretly feasts on blood and is allergic to sunlight. Number 6. The World Ended in 2012 in 2012, scientists at the European Organization for Nuclear Research discovered the Higgs boson, 
an elementary particle with properties that help to explain why some particles have a mass. Nicknamed the God Particle, it's the only particle of its kind that has ever been observed. You might remember that many people believe the world would end on December 21, 2012 because the ancient Mayan calendar lost count somewhere around that date. After Higgs boson was discovered, conspiracy theorists built on this belief, claiming that the scientists at CERN accidentally created a black hole that swallowed the world and then immersed us all in a simulation. Simply put, the world ended in 2012 and nothing we're experiencing now is real. The theory also argues that the world is afflicted with something called the Mandela Effect, which is when people remember an event or thing that never happened or existed. CERN doesn't have the energy required to create a black hole. Anyway, this doesn't stop people from thinking that it happened. The agency has been at the center of numerous conspiracy theories in recent years, including the belief that it's planned to turn its Large Hadron Collider into a portal of hell and that scientists are trying to summon a god or time travel. There's simply no evidence to back up any of these claims, but conspiracy theories are great examples of how people find ways to explain and rationalize beliefs that are not necessarily grounded in reality. So it's not surprising that rumors like these continue to circulate. Did you believe the world was gonna end in 2012? What about now? Are we just in a simulation? What is real? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 5. Planet X Scientists believe that there may be an undiscovered planet deep in our solar system. If Planet 9 exists, it's probably around the size of Neptune. Its highly elongated orbit may far surpass Pluto, and it could take anywhere from 10,000 to 20,000 years for the planet to complete one orbit around the Sun. For now, Planet 9 is theoretical. Experts admit that they've never actually observed it, and have explained its possible existence using mathematics and computer simulations. They're currently searching for the hypothetical planet. Of course, conspiracy theorists have found ways to turn the idea into something completely unrealistic. In 1995, a woman named Nancy Leder claimed that aliens sent her messages through an implant that they had put in her brain. They allegedly told her that a planet called Nibiru will crash into the world and cause it to end in 2003. This obviously never happened since we're all still here. A well-known end times theorist named David Mead, who has tried and failed to predict the apocalypse several times, helped popularize the idea of a planetary collision. He and other believers have put the world's end date in the years 2011, 2012, and 2018, and yet it never happens. The sheer number of failed predictions should tell us that the Nibiru Earth collision is more fantasy than fact. But many people latch onto conspiracy theories and the effects can be damaging. Several years ago, NASA planetary astronomer David Morrison reported receiving as many as five emails daily about the Nibiru Earth collision. He said at least once a week, someone as young as 11 years old told him that they were considering suicide over it. Conspiracy theories often seem strange yet harmless, but they can in fact harm people especially those who are most vulnerable to believing them. Number 4. The Denver Airport Conspiracy theories about the Denver International Airport in Colorado have been whispered about for over 20 years. Some of the most popular claims allege that a secret society, the Illuminati, the New World Order, or perhaps the Freemasons have controlled the airport ever since it opened in 1995. The idea stems from a dedication plaque near the airport's south entrance, which contains a time capsule with a Freemason symbol on it. People have also reported finding strange markings throughout the airport, which some believe are from a secret or alien language. But there is no evidence to suggest that the Freemasons operate the transit hub or that they have any involvement in its operations whatsoever. Another conspiracy theory claims that there's a secret bunker or network of bunkers hidden beneath the baggage terminal. The alleged subterranean hideout is supposedly meant to house billionaires, politicians, and other elites in the event of an apocalyptic catastrophe. 
Construction workers who built the airport sparked these rumors when they saw what they believed were bunker entrances at the site. They also became suspicious when a sophisticated baggage system that came at a multi-million dollar price tag failed to work properly. There is a pair of 7,000 foot tunnels beneath the Denver airport which run adjacent to its underground train, but they're not secret. They were designed as a safe house for important people. In fact, they were used every day by employees who transport luggage between planes, ticket counters, and baggage claim areas. These are just some of the many conspiracy theories surrounding the airport. Instead of trying to put these rumors to rest, CEO Kim Day embraces DIA's mysterious reputation, according to Senior Public Information Officer Heath Montgomery. Speaking with the Denver Post in 2016, he said, We decided a few years ago that rather than fight all of this and try to convince everybody there's nothing really going on, let's have some fun with it. Number 3. The Earth is Hollow during the late 17th century, an English astronomer named Edmund Halley proposed that the Earth contains a 500-mile-thick hollow shell, two inner concentric shells, and an innermost core. He believed that each shell had its own magnetic poles and that there were atmospheres separating the shells from one another. Halley's theory was disproved around the year 1774 in what became known as the Shehalian Experiment. But this didn't stop people from believing in a hollow Earth, and while the idea comes across to most people today as wildly unrealistic, it was once very popular. And you may be surprised to learn that there are still people who subscribe to the hollow Earth theory today. They claim that a secret entrance inside can be found on either the North or South Pole. In 2014, scientists discovered a water reservoir 435 miles beneath the planet's surface, containing three times the volume of all the oceans. Some people perceive the discovery as evidence supporting the hollow Earth theory. But as the Smithsonian STEM Visions blog explains, the water is trapped inside a bright blue rock called Ringwoodite, and it's almost as if the rock is sweating. It's not a vast body of free-flowing water like what we find on the surface, and there's no logical or scientific reason to think that the Earth could possibly be hollow. Number 2. The Earth is Flat Well, if the world isn't hollow, it must be flat, right? Humans have known for thousands of years that the Earth is round. The Greeks proved it as early as 600 BC. It is a common myth that Christopher Columbus and other explorers of his time believe that the Earth is flat. Yet flat Earth theories are still going strong today, and they've attracted a concerning number of followers. Nobody knows exactly how many flat Earthers there are, but the movement has gained considerable traction in recent years. Flat Earthers believe that the Earth is like a disk, rather than a sphere, and that we essentially live in a massive dome housing our planet, the Sun, the Moon, and the stars. They also claim that space isn't real, and they haven't decided whether they believe in gravity. Speaking with CNN in 2019, Flat Earther Robbie Davidson explained that a person won't fall off the edge of the world if they reach it, but that Antarctica represents an icy barrier around the outer reaches of the circular disk we live on. It's hard for most people to understand how a theory that was disproven centuries ago can be seen as rational. But experts have looked into the matter, and they found that Flat Earthers genuinely believe what they preach. To make matters even more confusing, there's a difference between the Flat Earth movement that has emerged in recent years and the Flat Earth Society, an older group that follows a different set of beliefs. In fact, the two groups adamantly disagree with one another's views. But scientists disagree with it all, and maintain that they are 100% sure that the world is not flat. Number 1. The Media Engineered COVID-19 There are many conspiracy theories surrounding the origins of COVID-19. The alleged culprits include 5G, Bill Gates, Big Pharma, and governments of different countries. Many people believe that the virus isn't even real and that the media is perpetuating a myth in order to control and terrify us. Allegations like these downplay the seriousness of the pandemic. While it's only natural for people to question who they can trust during a scary time, is it far-fetched to conclude that the virus is a fallacy engineered by the media, or anyone else for that matter? 
A more realistic version of this theory claims that COVID-19 is real, but that the media is using it as a platform for instilling the population with fear. In other words, some people don't deny that the virus exists, but they think that the press is exaggerating its dangers. But even this belief is questionable, and there's not enough solid evidence to say with certainty that the media is or is not reporting on the virus with ulterior motives. Number 10. Alien Coinage A group of people renovating a house in the south of Egypt stumbled upon a small collection of very strange coins that appeared to be ancient. The coins depict an alien figure dressed in what appears to be a Roman toga with some strange letters stamped along the edges. On the other side of the coins is something that looks an awful lot like a spaceship hovering above the ground. The coins don't show any human figures or really anything that suggests that they came from Earth. UFO hunters have been trying to convince people that the coins are direct evidence that aliens were here a very long time ago and that they either brought their own money with them or made these coins here on Earth. The strange words on the coins have been since identified as ancient Latin, translating to, it's here in due time. We don't know what exactly that means or even where these coins could have possibly come from. Mainstream scientists have yet to elaborate on the discovery, neither verifying nor coming forward to disprove the artifacts. They could be part of some elaborate hoax or real coins left behind by a race of alien visitors. Number 9. Tablets of Curses In Serbia, archaeologists discovered small parchments of gold and silver inscribed with what they believe to be ancient curses. These bizarre tablets were found alongside the skeletons of a few people at an excavation site in the northeast. Archaeologist Miomir Korac and her team scoured the site, which they say was once the Roman city of Viminashim. But let's break down these creepy tablets. The artifacts were covered in symbols and writings which have yet to be fully deciphered. 2,000 years ago, when the tablets were made, it wasn't uncommon for Greco-Romans to ask the gods, and in some cases even the dead, to perform acts of cruelty upon their rivals. One of these newly found scrolls was even written in ancient Aramaic, invoking the name of the demon Baal. But the rest of them haven't been translated yet because they don't contain enough recognizable text. They are instead inscribed mostly with unknown symbols that may represent cosmic forces. They were all definitely curses, but archaeologists are still trying to figure out just what exactly their intended purpose was. Number 8. Tree Skeleton in New Haven, a tree fell over to reveal a human skeleton. Tangled in the exposed roots was a collection of bones, rusted nails, and wood fragments that have since been collected by medical examiners. One of these examiners was Connecticut State archaeologist Nicholas Bellantoni. According to the researchers, this part of New Haven was once used as a mass burial ground during the days of the colonists. And judging by just how many bones were found tangled in with the tree trunks, there was more than one person buried here. If the archaeologists keep digging, chances are they could find more bodies than they'll know what to do with. For right now, all that's been uncovered is a skull, a spine, and a rib cage in the base of the tree itself. But these are likely for more than one individual. The archaeologists believe the bodies had been buried in the late 1700s in that there could be up to 5,000 more in the area. Number 7. Terrifying Spiders Scientists in Georgia have made what could be the creepiest discovery in recent memory that actually has a real-world effect, at least an effect on people living in Georgia. The Joro spider is an invasive species of arachnid that only recently began to grow in numbers. But scientists are now warning residents in northern Georgia that the species is no longer growing slowly, but at an alarming rate. This terrible spider is a native of Asia, it has colorful yellow stripes, and it was first sighted by researchers at the University of Georgia sometime in 2013. Researchers say it probably made its way to Georgia inside shipping containers from China or Japan. And guess what? They've also been found in Greenville, South Carolina. The spiders are starting to creep across America. Rick Hobeck, who has been tracking the various sightings, says they are here to stay and won't be going anywhere. And this is creepy for one major reason. 
reason. The Joro Spider is huge and alarming. The Joro Spider may not be dangerous, but it's certainly frightening. And their numbers are multiplying so fast that if you live in the area, chances are you're going to find one in your house very soon. For anyone who lives in the Georgia area, have you seen any of these terrifying yellow spiders just yet? And if so, what was your immediate reaction? Let us know in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. A Satanic Shack an urban explorer named Adam Corkill was checking out an abandoned house in the countryside of Taunton in England when he found more than he bargained for. According to Adam, the house appeared to have been empty for at least 20 years. The kitchen was dilapidated, covered with cracked and broken floor tiles from the 1970s. The walls were damp and rotting. The whole place looked like it needed to be torn down immediately. But beyond the ordinary weirdness of an abandoned home, Adam also discovered traces of possible satanic activity. The hallway was covered in graffiti, including some obscure references to Satan. There was no evidence that anything foul had taken place, although it was honestly pretty hard to tell. The sofa was flipped on its side, personal items were scattered everywhere, and the entire back wall of the house had already fallen down. It's not clear why the owners left, who was inside writing Satan's name on the wall, or even if the house is filled with ghosts. Number 5. The Mummy Who Opens Her Eyes Rosalia Lombardo died at the young age of two, stricken by pneumonia in the year 1920. Today, she is one of the best-preserved mummies in the world. She looks so much like she did at the time of her death that some people swear she opens her eyes and looks directly at them. Rosalia is hidden in an obscure Sicilian catacomb. When she died, her father was so stricken by grief that he went to an embalmer named Alfredo Salafia to turn his girl into a mummy. Whatever Alfredo did, it worked. Her internal organs are still perfectly intact 100 years later. Her face is so fresh that it looks like she's sleeping, and occasionally, you can see her bright blue irises when she quote-unquote opens her eyes. She's one of the 8,000 mummies that were discovered underneath the Capuchin convent in modern times, located in Sicily. But the truth is that she doesn't actually open her eyes. In 2009, the Italian biological anthropologist Dario Piombino Mascali debunked the myth. He says it's an optical illusion produced by light filtering through the side of a window. During the day, the change in the light makes it look as though her eyelids are opening when in fact they aren't. Still, she's without a doubt the most impressive mummy, and one of the creepiest that you can see today. Number 4. Two-Headed Cobra The only thing creepier than one cobra is a cobra with two heads. In India, forest officials stumbled upon a very strange creature in the jungle. Adil Mirza, a snake expert who's been working with the forest department for over 15 years, was the first one to lay eyes on the two-headed spectacled cobra. This literal freak of nature had two heads growing out of its neck and pointing in opposite directions. According to Adil, he had never, in all his years of encountering snakes, seen something like it. The serpent appeared to be less than two weeks old, only about a foot and a half long, but oddly enough, it was still alive. Snakes with this extreme of a deformity almost never survive in the wild because they can't catch enough prey to sustain themselves. Luckily for this one, it was sent to the nearby Derudun Zoo to be examined and kept alive by a veterinarian. With human intervention, this two-headed snake might actually live a full life. Number 3. Satanic Coins Hidden beneath Bath Abbey in Somerset, England, restoration archaeologists discovered a pair of coins that seemed to be satanic in origin. The coins depict a horned and hoofed devil wielding a trident. The words Civitas Diaboli were stamped on the coins as well, translating roughly to City of the Devil. But just what in the world could these potentially satanic coins mean? Were archaeologists on the trail of a cult of medieval devil worshippers? Unfortunately, no. The coins were actually made in the year 1973 by an art gallery clerk in Denmark. It was part of a practical joke that Scandinavians who remember it still call it the prank of the century. Back in 73, islanders on the remote Danish island of Anholt started fighting real evidence of satanic rituals. They found strange masks, bones wrapped up in string, and even a fake human head stuck on a stake. 
It was after this that devil coins started appearing in churches and crypts, about 400 in total. It sparked fears of a satanic cult on the prowl, but it was really just one guy who thought he was hilarious, leaving fake devil coins in archaeological spots. Somehow, two of these coins wound up in England, where they shocked archaeologists before they figured out the coins were part of a 40-year-old prank. Number 2. Creepy Graffiti Ancient Roman graffiti has been discovered in Pompeii, with experts saying the Romans may have been just as disgusting with their graffiti as some people are today. Most of us already know the story of Pompeii. In the year 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted, and everyone in the city died from an explosion of heat and gas and were buried under ash for 2,000 years. The entire city is immaculately preserved, including the graffiti, and even though most of the graffiti has faded over time, the stuff that hasn't is downright creepy. Graffiti here has been catalogued since the 1800s. Archaeologists have found some disturbing portrayals of city prostitutes carved into walls, wildly inappropriate insults seemingly aimed at one's enemies, and even stuff so simple as, I was here. And while some of this stuff is humorous, a lot of it is so raunchy and gross that I can't even repeat it. Apparently, Romans had a seriously sick sense of humor, and they let everyone know by carving their dirtiest thoughts on the city walls. Number 1 tree mummy. A man was going for a walk in the Evergreen Memorial Park and Cemetery in Los Angeles, one of the oldest graveyards in the city. During his walk, he stumbled upon some mummified remains and a mysterious box stashed in a tree. This cemetery was established way back in 1877. It's no surprise that there's some old and seriously creepy stuff hidden here. The walker, who was out with his dog, was picking up sticks to burn in his kiln at home when he noticed an object stuck in an old tree. It was a wooden box tied shut with string. Inside the box, he found a small figure wrapped in cloth. It looked to be some kind of baby mummy, and it very well might have been. The walker put the mummified remains back where he found him, not wanting to disrespect the dead, but he did upload the photos online. That was when experts came forward to say it was a popular practice in the 1800s for women to put miscarried fetuses inside small boxes. They then buried the little boxes in trees, a way of returning the deceased back to nature. Which of these discoveries did you find the creepiest? Number 8 Poached tortoises in Madagascar A house at the end of a street in Madagascar was hiding a secret, one that neighbors couldn't ignore. After officials were alerted to the horrendous smell coming out of the two-story home, they exposed the nasty surprise waiting for them inside. Over 10,000 tortoises had been hoarded and left in the house to fend for themselves. And they were everywhere, in the bathroom sink, the bathtub, in the kitchen sink, and piled on the floors and on every surface imaginable. The discovery was quite shocking to the police, but there was more to the story. Taking tortoises from the wild in Madagascar is illegal. Selling them is also banned in most countries, but the fact that they were all from a rare breed found only in Madagascar made everything that much worse. Whoever had taken the tortoises was in major trouble with the authorities. Sadly, 180 of the tortoises were dead when officers went to the home, and those that were alive were severely sick. Almost 600 more died from dehydration or infections within a week of being rescued. Even though selling the tortoises is illegal, poachers risk getting caught selling them locally for meat as well as to people in Southeast Asia and China. Given the number of tortoises found, experts were convinced they had stumbled into just one small part of a larger poaching operation. Luckily, they arrested three people for this extreme case of animal hoarding, with the goal of tracking down the head of the operation to stop illegal poaching for good. Instead of releasing the surviving tortoises back into the wild, where they would probably be taken by other poachers, Officials decided to keep them in captivity where they would be protected and be able to live out the rest of their lives in peace. Number 7. 
The Headless Slugs of the Deep Sea There are two breeds of sea slug that have a curious habit that has scientists scratching their heads. Both of the slugs have the ability to not only rip their own heads off, but they can then regenerate new bodies all in the span of a month. They were discovered by a Japanese scientist who was looking through her collection of sea slugs when she saw one of the slugs was missing its head. Shocked by the discovery, she noticed the head was still alive alive and was moving around the tank, eating algae. When she took a closer look, she saw telltale signs that the slug had actually ripped its own head off. Expecting the slug to die without a heart or any of its other important organs, the scientist was baffled when three weeks later, the slug had managed to regenerate its entire body. As researchers continued to study the slug, they found another species also purposefully decapitating itself to grow a new body. The reason? When the slugs are infected with internal parasites, they do what they can to save themselves. If that doesn't make your skin crawl, the idea that those headless bodies still live for months, reacting to stimuli before they finally start to decompose, might. This remarkable ability is just one example of how some of nature's most inventive species can regenerate their body parts and survive longer than scientists thought. Number 6. Tentacled Snakes Workers at the Smithsonian's National Zoo got a creepy surprise when a number of unusual baby snakes were born with small tentacles on their noses. Yikes! The zoo had been trying to breed the elusive species for years, but finally, eight snakes from the Eruptin tentaculatus species from Southeast Asia were born. Measuring only 20 to 35 inches, they are the only snakes with tentacles on their snouts. The little feeders come in handy when the snakes are hunting. After using their tails to steady themselves, the snakes twist themselves into a distinctive J shape. Using their half-centimeter long tentacles to sense vibrations in the water, they startle passing fish by moving a small part of their body. When their prey comes near, the snakes direct the fish toward their open jaws, a stealthy kill that keeps them happily fed. And it doesn't take long for them to learn this behavior either. After only a few hours of being born, the snakes at the National Zoo were already using their newly discovered skills to hunt. But scientists wanted to know more about their eating habits, like whether the snakes only used these tentacles to hunt or if their other senses played a part. One test involved putting the snakes in a special tank with a simulated fish at the bottom of the aquarium and then waiting to see if they could strike the fish without having any movement to alert them that the fish was there. A second test involved using infrared light, something the snakes can't see to watch them as they hunted. In both cases, scientists realized the tentacles were key to hunting, allowing the snakes to catch fish even with their sense of sight taken away. Nerve activity in the snakes' brains made it clear that their tentacle movements were coordinated with their sense of sight. This meant they had evolved to integrate their senses for a superpowered hunting skill that continues to baffle scientists. Number 5. The Big Fin Squid a previously unseen animal of the deep was recently captured on camera, and it offers a spooky look into sea life lurking far beneath the ocean's surface. During an expedition in the Gulf of Mexico, researchers spotted a ghostly big fin squid, one of less than 20 confirmed sightings of the cephalopod. While a team from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration were mapping the seafloor in the Western Atlantic Ocean, they set out to explore deep water areas that hadn't been explored before. As they were filming near a steep slope of the West Florida escarpment that separates the shallow coast from the much deeper Gulf of Mexico, they noticed something strange in the darkness. A pair of spindly blue legs appeared, and then six more, followed along with two tentacles, all covered with microscopic sticky suckers. As they continued to watch, scientists realized they had come across a big fin squid. Would you have been excited or scared if you spotted a big fin squid underwater? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. These mystery squids with their heart-shaped fins are actually different from other squids who use their tentacles differently than their arms. 
The big fin, though, seems to use their tentacles as two extra arms, allowing their spaghetti-like appendages to float below them like a living spider web to capture plankton and crustaceans. They are also able to coil and retract their tentacles to keep them from being tangled. The big fin squid are usually found very deep, around 8,000 feet beneath the ocean's surface. But for the scientists who have been glued to their screens watching these mysterious ocean dwellers drifting underwater, they see them as delicate, calming ghosts of the deep. Number 4. Australian Mega Spider Funnel web spiders are some of the most dangerous spider species on Earth. So when an anonymous person donated one to a reptile park in Australia, zoo workers had to be extra careful when examining the small but deadly creature. Soon after receiving the spider, zoo staff realized their new resident was particularly lethal. Nicknamed the Mega Spider, this species has fangs that are powerful enough to bite through a human fingernail. And this one was massive compared to others of the same species. Most funnel webs are from about half an inch to two inches wide, but this one measured over three inches with almost two inch long curved fangs. Native to Eastern Australia, these spiders get their name from the shape of their webs that have a small funnel shaped tube that leads into their silken burrow. It is perfect for trapping prey. And they use these funnels to perfection, waiting for beetles, cockroaches, and even small lizards to fall into their webs so they can rush out and grab them before taking them back to their lair to eat them. They're just as dangerous to humans too. Their bite is so toxic that it can kill an adult human within 15 minutes, which has made zoo workers that much more interested in finding out who mysteriously dropped off the spider with no labels or information about where it came from. Even though you might be wondering why the zoo would welcome the mega spider with open arms, remember that scientists have been working for decades to milk spiders using their venom to make anti-venom and save lives. So even though the female spider was one of the biggest species they'd ever received, the thought of which might give you nightmares, zoo staff welcomed the spider, adding it to their collection of 300 other funnel webs. Number 3. Man-Eating Sponge California's Monterey Bay is home to many incredible creatures, but a new species spotted in the deep ocean waters off the coast has a bit of a nasty habit. Known as a harp sponge, the creature's candelabra shape isn't the strangest thing about it. The invertebrates are carnivores, using the barbed hooks that cover their branch-like limbs to snare crustaceans. But the carnage doesn't end there. After capturing their prey, harp sponges envelop the helpless creature in a thin membrane before they start to slowly digest them. They mostly stay in the soft, muddy sediment at the bottom of the ocean, using their branches to catch food. But when they were first discovered 20 years ago, most harp sponges only had two of these branches. Over time, they grew up to be 14 inches tall, giving them up to six of these appendages called veins to capture more prey. Even even though their harp-like shape might make them look like some magical underwater creature, these meat eaters are dangerous and not shy about hunting. Number 2. Killer Slugs Pure white with a full set of sharp teeth and no eyes to see, a bizarre species known as the albino ghost slug is terrorizing gardeners all across the UK, even making it into the caves of Turkey and Georgia. So how did a slug with no eyes make it into Western Europe when it has never been seen there before? Some scientists think their lack of eyes and ghostly color could be a clue. Many species that evolve underground without a lot of light have the same traits as the albino ghost slug, and because they were previously spotted in caves could be the proof researchers need to figure out how they got to the UK. The fact that they've spread into other areas where they have never been seen before is natural, but it's also a bit alarming, given how easy it's been for the alien species to work their way into the backyard gardens of various Britons. Ecologists think they may have hitched a ride in plant pots lurking in the soil which unsuspecting gardeners then planted in their yards without knowing they were harboring the carnivorous slugs. 
Their blade-like teeth might not be a threat to the average human, but they are treacherous to earthworms. They can slither their flexible bodies into the smallest cracks, sucking in worms like spaghetti and slicing them with their blade-like teeth. But worms are vital to the ecosystem and the well-being of soil. So the next time you decide to do a little gardening, it might be wise to check your potted plants for these ghostly little meat eaters. But you might want to put on a pair of gardening gloves first. Number 1. The Coffin Fish Sometimes the most interesting species come to those who are willing to dive the deepest. When a team from the Smithsonian Institution's Deep Reef Observation Project were exploring the waters off Curaçao, they were startled by a sea toad walking across the bottom of the ocean. Known as the coffin fish, the species has adapted a special fin that lets them take a bit of an underwater stroll, even though they'd previously found two other sea toad species in Central America earlier that year, experts were excited at how different this one looked to the others. The discovery will allow scientists to compare all three, giving them a first-hand look at how diverse different species in the same group can be. Making them even more unique, these sea toads are part of the anglerfish family. You might recognize that as a character from Finding Nemo. You know, the fish with the long spiny growth on the front of its face that it uses to lure unsuspecting prey. It's also possible that the strange looking fish could be a previously unknown and unnamed species, but that didn't make it any easier to catch. When the team started the process of collecting the fish, it went on the offensive, filling itself with water as a type of defense mechanism to hold their breath for up to four minutes and ward off predators. But it isn't just for protection. Their ability to inflate their gill chambers also helps them to take in more oxygen and even helps them to save energy when there isn't enough food around. Talk about multitasking. Thanks for watching. Which one of these strange discoveries shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. See you next time. Bye.